Dames. Okay. Okay, start. Get recording. Good. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today we are talking about a very important uh, topic. It is the basic of ultrasound. Uh, most of you either using ultrasound during regional anesthesia or have seen uh, the anesthetist, senior anesthetist, using ultrasound during the uh, performance of uh, ultrasound regional anesthesia. And to be a professional and academic in the using of ultrasound, you have to know the basics of using ultrasound in regional anesthesia. So it is not a matter of practice only, it is a matter of understanding the advantages, disadvantages, details of all options related to the ultrasound and its uh, other uh, details like the needling during the regional anesthesia. We will talk about all the aspects of these basics throughout this presentation. Bloom where you are planted. This is a statement. What has this statement gives an impression to you? Anyone? Uh, bloom where you are planted. Naam, shukran Baida. Any uh, other impressions about this statement? Very good, very good. هذا يعني بشكل عام هو هذا الكلام اللي قلتوه أنتو. But I would like to add something. إنه أحيانا المكان إذا تلاحظون كلمة are planted يعني sometimes it is not your choice. ممكن تكون في مكان وأنت يعني not like this place. يعني you like another. يعني sometimes the circumstances obligate you uh, to be in a bad situation. Uh, even in a bad situation, you can uh, bloom and produce some things. intelligent, creative, even in the bad situations and the bad places, can bloom and produce a lot. بحيث هذا المكان اللي هو قد يكون مكان مرهق متعب يتحول إلى مكان محبوب. أنا عندي تجارب شخصية بهذا الموضوع. يعني في فترة من الفترات. زرت ناس مسجونين بس مسجونين في مو نتيجة criminal works وإنما لأغراض أخرى فهذا السجن من زرتهم طبعا مو واحد واثنين وإنما أعداد كبيرة كان أشبه بالجنة بالنسبة لهم لأن هم بهذا السجن قدروا يسوون هواية أمور ويقرون يطورون قابلياتهم اللي ما كان متعلم لغة إنجليزية تعلم لغة إنجليزية اللي ما كان يقرأ كتب دام يقرأ كتب عنده دفك معين في 
certain topics اللي قاله مدرس بهذا المكان وقام يدرس اشبه بالجنه بليف مي ما اريد اخذ وقت هوايه حتى اشرح التفاصيل اللي شفتها هناك بس لقيت انه الاشخاص الموجودين هناك يشعرون ان هم مو بسجن بالعكس هم في جنه ولو ربما هم خارج هذا ممكن ان يكونون بريزنرز فيعني نطيت فد اكستريم اكزامبل انت مرات تكون في سجن ممكن داخل هذا السجن تبدا فكيف اذا كانت ليس ذان ذس اكزامبل ممكن تكون انت في مستشفى غير راغب بيها او ببرانش ما تحبه او في قسم انت ما ترغب به بس النتيجه انه انت يو كان بلوم ممكن تخلق من هاي الانفايرمنت فات سمثينج تو بي لافد باي اول اوكي ريتيرن باك تو اور برزنتيشن ان ذس برزنتيشن ذير ويل بي فوكسينج اون بيسك فيزكس فيريوس الترا ساوند بروبس نيور ماشين And regarding the uh, ultrasound basics, even the bots navigate using ultrasound uh, towards worms uh, or uh, certain types of uh, its foods. Navigate towards these using ultrasound. How? Bats make high-pitched sharps, which are too high for humans to hear. Man, it's not high. Then the ultrasound. This is called ultrasound. Like normal sound, ultrasound echoes of objects. The bat hears the echoes and works out what caused them. يتحسس هاي الاماكن وفولو ذيس ايكوز تاورز ذي اوبجيكتس اوريدي ايميتد ذيس ايكوز دولفينز اولسو نافيجيت وذ الترا ساوند سبمارينز يوز ا سيميلر ميثود كولد سونارز We can also use ultrasound to look inside the body, means the tissue of our body, by the using of ultrasound. If a bat hears an echo after 0.01 second of making a share, how far away is the object? Clue one, the speed of sound in air is 330 meter per second. And the clue two, the speed of sound equals the distance traveled divided by the time taken. All of you know that the speed equal to distance divided by time. So the distance equal to speed multiplied by time. And if we put the previous number on this equation, the result will be the distance equal to 330 multiplied by 0.01 equal to 3.3 meters. But this is the distance from the bat to the object and back again means the echo. So the distance to the object is divided by two and will be 1.65 meters. Ultrasound imaging, how does it work? This is the ultrasound probe, and this is the skin surface, and this is the organ in the body, and let's say it is the liver. An ultrasound element acts like a bat, emit the waves from the probe towards the tissues inside the body, and then emit ultrasound and detect the echoes. The echoes return back from the tissue towards the ultrasound are 
recorded, and this give us map out the boundary of the objects inside the body. Why ultrasound? Why we use ultrasound? It is real-time image guidance, dynamic, continuous, real-time, and the same time. Can reduce bricks to locate nerve during regional anesthesia. Can detect intravascular injection. We can see that by our eyes. Can detect intraneural injection. It is helpful in altered anatomy. Means sometimes we all of us know the landmark in a relation to the target structures, but sometimes this landmark change and alter between different persons. So this can be discovered by ultrasound, cannot be discovered by landmark techniques. The onset, duration, and success rate. All is high with ultrasound done in landmark technique. Is there evidence of the benefit of the use of ultrasound guidance? Yes, there is evidence that it is faster block performance, fewer needle passes, means less proteins, and faster initial onset of a block because the Accuracy and performance of this block will be better than in landmark technique. Possible reduce local anesthetic requirement because the block done under yourself and you may be satisfied with lesser volume than the given in landmark technique. Is there a safety benefit in using ultrasound guidance? Yes, because direct visualization of needle should reduce the rate of intraneural and intravascular puncture. I don't know what is this voice. 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 I don't know Okay. Reduced local anesthetic requirement suggests less local anesthetic systemic toxicity risk. And the fewer needle passes suggest less damage to surrounding tissues. Physical definitions in relation to physics of ultrasound. Sound waves is the pressure wave of mechanical energy that is transmitted through a medium by vibration of molecules with a frequency of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz with wavelength of 17 meter to 17 millimeter. 17 meter means a long wavelength, and this can be when the frequency is less, like 20 hertz, and 17 millimeter when the frequency is higher, like 20 kilohertz. As the increase in the frequency lead to decrease in the wavelength. Ultrasound wave is non-audible sound wave with a frequency more than 20 hertz. فأدنا هنا sound wave 
and here ultrasound wave. The ultrasound wave is non-audible sound wave with a frequency more than 20 kilohertz. Here we said 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. In ultrasound wave, when the frequency more than 20 kilohertz. What the, about the frequency used in the ultrasound machine? Ultrasound equipment typically operates within the range of 1 to 20 megahertz. Can you imagine? The ultrasound wave is the wave with the frequency more than 20 kilohertz. But the frequency that used in the ultrasound machine much higher than this number. It is one to 20 megahertz, not in kilohertz, but in megahertz, which is well above the range of a human hearing, generally considered to be between 20 to 20,000 hertz, as we said here. This is the normal frequency to be here by the human beings. So the ultrasound used in the, our machine beyond the range that the person can hear of normal sounds. Now, the definitions of uh, wavelength is the distance between two consecutive corresponding points of the same phase. It is expressed in meter. The amplitude is a measure of the height of the wave and it is expressed in the meter. The period is the time taking from one complete wave cycle to a cup. Is the time taken for one complete wave cycle to occur? The unit of period is seconds, duration. Frequency is the number of completed cycles per seconds. The unit of frequency is hertz. Medical imaging uses high frequency waves, one to 20 megahertz. And in this graph, we can see this is the amplitude, and this is the wavelength from here to here, from cycle to another. And this is the time of one cycle, from here to here. This is the time. And here, when there is a frequency, can be high frequency, as in this picture. And in this, the wavelength will be shorter and can be low frequency. And in this situation, the wavelength will be longer. Velocity is the speed of a propagation of a sound wave through a medium. The velocity of a wave is the product of frequency and wavelength of a sound wave. The unit of velocity is meter per second. The speed of the sound in a biological medium is assumed to be constant at 1.54 meter per second for practical purpose. And this is the ultrasound speed for different structures of the uh, tissues in the, our body. As you can see the bone with high speed about 4,000, while the air is the least about 300. And in between, there is fat and soft tissue, 
which is roughly speaking near this number 1.4 or 0.5 meter per second. The basic principle basic of using the ultrasound or generating of ultrasound depend on piezoelectrical effect, acoustic impedance, attenuation, reflection, scatter, and absorption of the waves, as we will see. Here the image generation. This is the probe that generate image, that generate uh, sound, and this sound transmitted to the tissue and returned back here to the same probe. So the probe cycles between generating ultrasound waves and listening for the return of ultrasound waves. The generating of ultrasound wave just 1% of the time, while the listening for the ultrasound, receiving of return of ultrasound waves, which is the echoes, about 99% of the time, which is processed by the machine to produce two-dimensional grayscale image that is seen on the screen. This type of image is the typical image used in point of care imaging and is known as B mode or brightness mode. The image generation, the ultrasound wave are generated by piezoelectric crystals. Had a probe, a could be piezoelectric crystals by using the piezoelectric effect. Piezo, which is in Greek, means push. The piezoelectric effect is the generation of an electrical current when a mechanical stress is applied, means the generation of electrical current from mechanical stress. The reverse or converse piezoelectrical effect is that if electrical current applied to piezoelectric crystal, it can induce mechanical citrus and deformation, which is exactly the mechanism of generation of ultrasound from uh, the probe by applying electricity towards these crystals, this electricity converted to mechanical vibration, that is to say the piezoelectric crystals vibrated and the vibration, the mechanical vibrations produce a sound, which is ultrasound, non-audible sound. And this sound, transmitted towards the tissues. Mechanical vibrations produce sound. Generation of images requires reflection of ultrasound waves. This reflection occur at the boundary or interface of different types of tissue. The, the greatest reflection comes from interfaces of tissues with a greatest difference in acoustic impedance. Kul is that acoustic impedance between different tissues, kul is that reflections to the probe and to the ultrasound machine. The acoustic impedance is the resistance to the passage of ultrasound waves. Here, the acoustic impedances for different tissues of our body. 
and we can find here the air is with least acoustic impedance about four per ten thousandths while it is the greatest impedance with the bone which is 7.8 so from this we can realize that the waves easily transmit the air and difficult to pass it through the bones and in between most of tissue in about nearby relatively equal impedance like that in fat liver blood kidney muscles most of them from point 1.3 to 1.7 while the air and lung with least acoustic impedance and bone with highest acoustic impedance three things can happen to ultrasound waves as they travel through tissue. First thing is the reflection, second attenuation, third refraction. This is the wave, ultrasound wave, and this is the tissue, tissue one and tissue two, or A and B. Here the reflected wave, which is reflected wave, if, if this wave reflected towards the probe, will produce the ultrasound image. But this is the transmitted wave that passed through the tissue and uh, does not return back to the probe. So it is attenuated. And this is the refracted wave, which is uh, slightly deviated from uh, its normal path. The reflection, the amount of reflection of ultrasound wave is dependent on, this amount dependent on first, the difference in acoustic impedance at the interface between different tissues. We already mentioned that. The angle of incidence means, like in this picture, when there is no angle, no angle between the needle, for example, here, and the probe, all the reflected waves will be here to the probe. The ultrasound emit from the probe towards the tissue and return back in the same way. While here, there is angle between the needle or the tissue with the probe. The ultrasound way like this, but the reflection will be like this. As the angle increase, this angle increase, the reflected waves will be apart from the probe in this way. And when the reflection apart from the probe, these waves will not be uh, analyzed by the machine and will not produce an image of the needle or the targeted structures. So the reflection in general depend on the angle of incidence, the type of reflection, whether specular or scattering, means the type, the waves can be in a scattering way or in specular hazme to, towards the probe and produce good image. Regarding the attenuation is the loss of mechanical energy of ultrasound waves as they travel through tissue, will be attenuated. About 75% of attenuation is caused by conversion to heat, which is called absorption. 
attenuation is dependent on direct relationship with attenuation coefficient of the tissue. Distance travel means as the distance increase, the attenuation increase. Frequency of ultrasound wave also as the frequency increase, the attenuation also increased. Regarding the refraction, like in this picture, deviation from normal way, when the acoustic impedance between tissue interfaces is small, means nearby acoustic impedance, the ultrasound wave is uh, wave's direction is changed slightly at the tissue interface, refracted waves may not return to the probe in order to be processed into an image. Therefore, refraction may contribute to image degradation. But it's like an image like this picture. The greater the energy from the returning echoes from an area, the whiter the image will appear. كل ما ترجع waves هواية للبروب كل ما تطلع الامج بالسونار باللون الأبيض. فلذلك يطلع لنا hyper echoic which is a great amount of energy from returning echoes and are seen as white. نشوفها بالسونا لونها أبيض. منين جاي هذا اللون الأبيض؟ لأنه ال reflection towards the probe is great. لذلك يطلع لنا hyper echoic. The less energy from returning echoes are seen as a gray. We call it hypoechoic. That in the waves, but in less amount, this regarded as hypoechoic, and we see it as a gray in color. Unechoic means black color, and this resulted from non-returning echoes towards the probe from the tissues. Yani the probe applied ultrasound towards the tissue, but the waves don't return back to the probe. Why? May be attenuated or may be reflected, but not to the probe apart from the probe. لذلك راح يكون الصورة سودة سودة بالسونار فهاي الصور اللي نشوفها بالسونار نشوفها ان ايكوك اسود هايبو ايكوك جراي هايبر ايكوك وايت ايزو ايكوك بين هايبر ايكوك اند هايبو ايكوك اند ذس از ذا ريفلكتيف like in bone. In, in bone, the periosteum, periosteum reflect, reflect most of the waves. لذلك the bones, شرح يطلع the periosteum راح يطلع hyper echoic. But what is beyond the periosteum will be will be unechoic like this. Why? Because no waves from this area return back to the probe. In hyperechoic, in hyperechoic picture, which is like this, white in color, this is the ultrasound probe and this is the structure. Here the wave from ultrasound to the structure return back to the probe. لذلك صارت الصورة بيضة. In an echoic صورة سودة, the wave will be passed from the probe towards the structure. 
and pass without returning back to the probe. فلذلك الصورة راح تطلع سودة. Why? Because no return back of echoes to probe to be analyzed and display on the screen. Nothing. And this nothing displays as black color. Here, practically speaking, the different structures can be seen in the uh, screen as mentioned here from different aspects of view. Bands look as an echoic, black in color means an echoic, but compressible. Arteries an echoic, but pulsatile. Fat hypoechoic, hypo, yani gray in color, with irregular hyperechoic lines. Muscles heterogeneous, which is a mixture of hyperechoic lines within a hypoechoic tissue background. Tendons, bones, bones hyperechoic lines, which is the periosteum, and then hypoechoic shadow after the periosteum. Nerve hyperechoic within the hypoechoic. These are two important types of probes. This is the linear probe, and this is the curvilinear or convex probe. The frequency of a probe and depth as the frequency increase like in this 10 megahertz, we can see that the depth is decreased. And with less frequency, 2.5 megahertz, the depth will be increased. This is the picture of linear probe, and this is the picture of curvilinear probe. And in the curvilinear probe, there will be better penetration, means the we can see the deep structures, but with low resolution picture, not a clear like that of linear probe. When we need deep structure to be seen, we can use curvilinear like that in abdominal imaging. Because here, if we look at this picture, here there is 10 centimeters. We cannot see any structure at 10 centimeter depth by the linear probe, only by the curvilinear probe. Regarding the linear probe, it is with less penetration, as we said, so used for superficial structures, like that for nerve block, vessels, and lung and ultrasound and it gives us better resolution, better picture, like in this. There is what is called orientation marker or aspect markers, which is this dot or this process. What is the benefit of this orientation marker? شباب من يجاوبني؟ yes yes in general in general uh, by this aspect we can know the uh, differentiate between medial and lateral cephalic and codon right and left so it is very important to realize this dot or orientation marker before starting our scanning for different tissues. All ultrasound transducers have an orientation marker. By convention, yani not necessarily, but 
routinely or usually to be done, the orientation marker is placed on the right of the patient in a transverse orientation and cephalid in a longitudinal orientation. Transverse orientation, معناها البروب نخلي from right to left. Longitudinal orientation, معناها البروب نسوي from head in the direction of cephalocaudal, from head towards foot, like this direction. The marker is usually placed on the left top corner. هسا راح نشوفه خلينا نشوفه حتى هذا هذا الصورة بالسونار تطلع هيجي هذا ال orientation marker هنا وين وين هاي الماركر حتى نعرف على السكرين the screen dot يعني on the left upper corner of the screen. The marker is usually placed on the left top corner of the screen. On the ultrasound machine, but can be placed at any corner upon the choice of operator. This is according to your setting. You can put it at the right upper corner, but usually to be here. The orientation of trans user can be correctly identified by touching one side of the transducer after gel has been applied and observing the screen for the movement. ممكن انه انت اذا ما تعتمد على هاي الاورينتيشن ماركر after putting a gel over the probe you can put your finger or touch the tissue from uh, certain aspect of this probe and look at the screen to see the movement on the right or left to know your orientation. This is the orientation marker and here the orientation marker in the green. How to select the probe? On which criteria we depend to say, I want linear probe, I want curvilinear probe. We have to know where is the area of interest? Is it deep or superficial structure? And regarding the size of the patient, Ultrasound image, reflected signal gives information about depth and nature of the tissue. On the gray scale, high reflectivity, bone, like in a white color, low reflectivity, like muscle, like to a gray color, no reflectivity, like to a black. Deeper structures on lower portions of the display screen and superficial on the upper portion of the screen. We have to know our machine. We have to be familiar with all the knobs and with an increasing of our knowledge regarding the knobs and their functions, there will be an increase in our professional work and we will get more benefit from the ultrasound machine and we can get very good result according to uh, our knowledge with this machine. We have to know that before any examination by ultrasound or any regional anesthesia, we have to know what is called the preset. I will talk about this. We have to set the depth, the gain, frequency, focus, color Doppler, and sometimes pulse wave Doppler. I will talk about all of these in the next few slides. 
this is the supposed to be this is the machine ultrasound machine and different knobs here put for organization of the image this is the knob of preset if you look at this This is a preset. Before using ultrasound, you have to preset your test. By using the preset, there will be like this. Do you want to examine for abdomen, obstetric, gynecology, cardiology, vascular, with different options? And you can choose what you are interested of according to your taste. So for us, we can choose mostly the uh, musculoskeletal option or nerve block option. According to availability of these options that are different between different machines. And if we look at this, here the present is nerve block. This is the nerve block. So if you want to do nerve block, you can choose this option if it is available in the machine. Regarding the depth, the depth this is the depth. No for the depth. Okay, for each procedure, there are suitable depths. they say we, for example, sciatic nerve block needs a deeper area, deeper distance than that for lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of thigh, which is superficial structure. So if we put long depth for superficial structure, the image will be uh, not good image, very bad image, because we use very long depth that we don't need such a long depth. Regarding the gain, here the gain. This is the gain. This is the gain. Shababa Kusot, you are at loss to in my catch, Shabab. Regarding the gain, this is too bright image and this is too dark image. Whenever you increase the gain, there will be more brightening of image like this. So if you pay such image, you can decrease the gain. If you, if you face such image, you can increase the gain to get more suitable and nice picture like this, which is homogeneous, good relation between white and the black in this image, not like this, just like or like this, which is white. This is the beautiful picture with good gain. And regarding the uh, color Doppler, like this knob, we have to know the knob of color Doppler for the uh, seeing of arteries or veins, vascular structures in the image. What is the mechanism 
of visualization of uh, vessels. This is the ultrasound probe, and this is the vessel that contain blood seal. The ultrasound probe emits an ultrasound wave, a stationary, means no movement, of a blood seal reflect the incoming wave with the same wave length there is no Doppler shift. When there is a stationary, no movement of the cell, there will be no Doppler effect. The ultrasound probe emits an ultrasound wave here. If we look at the probe here, not in the same direction of the blood cell, in tilted way. Here, a blood cell moving away from the probe reflects the incoming wave with a longer wavelength. Lenhu, blood cell moving away, فلذلك راح يكون longer wavelength. In reality, there is actually two Doppler shifts. The first one occurred between the probe and the moving blood cell not shown here, and the second one occur as the red cell, blood cell reflects the ultrasound. Here, in opposite way, the probe tilted towards another side, and now the blood cell moves towards, towards the probe. It reflects the incoming wave with a shorter wavelength. From this, there is what is called BART principle, which means blue away red towers. Blue away red towers. Means the color that we see on the screen is blue when the blood move away from the probe. And the color we see in the screen, on the screen is red, when the blood moves towards the uh, probe, we mention the blood and it is uh, generally uh, term rather than the blood cells, actually. This is the right color and this is the blue color. Right color means the blood moves towards the probe, and the blue color means the blood move away from the probe. Bart, blue away. Red towers. Amal Yasin Sam'ini? Alaikum Salam. According to this principle, Amal, what does it mean? Ustaz, we have the Azraq, the vein, which is deeper, more away from the artery. Okay, thank you, Amal. بها أحسين تسمعني؟ بها أحسين؟ حنان حنان الأتروشي تسمعيني؟ مصطفى. نعم استاذ نعم استاذ اسمعك اوكي حنان حنان اسمعيني حنان 
أدري. نعم أستاذ according to part principle blew away means blood moving away from the blood. Okay, I didn't hear Hanan, but generally speaking, uh, blue color does not. Blue color does not mean it is a vein, and red color does not mean it is artery. Actually, it just reflects the direction of the blood towards or away from the probe. And sometimes you can see the artery in blue color or the vein in red color. And here, this is the power Doppler, which is different from the color Doppler. And this is the effect for the blood flow of less important um, regional anesthesia than color Doppler. And regarding the other setting before ultrasound regional anesthesia, the frequency. Some machines give you an option that you can change the frequency within same probe. For example, linear probe from, let's say from 10 megahertz to 18 megahertz. You can choose the frequency within single probe according to your examination. And some machines uh, that don't give you such an option to change the frequency within the same probe. Another setting is time gain compensation, allow selective control of a gain at different depth. And another setting is the focusing. I will talk about these two options. Here, this is for time gain compensation, different knobs. If we increase this knob towards right, means increase the gain in the upper aspect of the screen. And if we increase this towards the right, there will be increased gain in the lower screen. And these knobs in between, so you can choose different gains in the different parts of the screen. This is the different gains according to your uh, will to get beautiful picture. And regarding the focus, focus, this is the depth of the screen and you can focus on centimeter two or centimeter one or centimeter three. So there will be a focusing of the ultrasound waves towards this area to get better, uh, better picture, beautiful image. How to scan for a nerve? I didn't show nerve. I didn't show nerve block. Clone and so we scanning. First, we have to know the anatomy. لازم نعرف الأناتومي. Without good knowledge about the anatomy of the target structure and all the related near. تعبلا زحمة In time gain compensation, we have different knobs multiple knobs like this. In this 
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, or five, four. And according to different knobs, according to our adjustment of these knobs, we can get different gates in the uh, different areas of the screen. So suppose we have these four knobs. This will reflect the upper, upper part of the screen. And this one will reflect or adjust the lower part of the screen. So if we increase the gain of the lower part like this, towards the right side, there will be here. The lower part of the screen will be brighter, will be brighter with more gain. And if we decrease this one towards left, means the upper part, part of the screen will be darker with less gain. So the screen will be of different gain areas rather than the single gain like with uh, this knob which is reflect the gain in general understood we have to have good knowledge regarding the anatomy the landmarks are very important during our procedure. There is what is called ergonomics. Ergonomics. Poor ergonomics may not only lead to suboptimal performance of the procedure, but may contribute to work-related musculoskeletal discomfort. And in the ergonomic, we will take different aspects of ergonomic. First one, positioning and care of the patient, him or herself. The patient must be placed in a comfortable position for the block. The position may vary with the type of block being performed. يختلف من block to another. For example, the patient may need a supine position for an upper limb block, a prone position for a popliteal block. Additionally, the position of the limb may be adjusted to assist the procedure. For example, performing an interscalene block may need a semi-recombinant position of the patient with the face turned towards the contralateral side. The head pillows is moved to one side for a better access of the needle. Another aspect is the positioning of the physician for the operator himself. Maintenance a good position for respect to the patient helps to ensure operator comfort and allows optimal block performance. This include the following, adjust the height, of a patient bed to an appropriate level for the operator. Assuming a good posture by choosing to stand or sit down on a chair, performing the block from the side being blocked to avoid reaching over the patient. So it is important, and I diamond ashabbi had al maudu of maudu al endotracheal intubation. Bil-endotracheal intubation, when we do good adjustment of the patient position of the operator, good uh, height of the patient, good position of the head and neck, there will be simple intubation. But when any of these adjustment will be uh, disturbing, there will be maybe difficult intubation. And this is actually not difficult intubation, but actually uh, bad visualization rather than difficult intubation. Here the same. In the uh, الموضوع, uh, need your sitting, and you الأمور إذا الموضوع يحتاج أنت تواقف وتقعد راح يصير أصعب تختار السايد اللي مناسب 
حتى تكون كومفورتبل وتسويه فيري ايزلي اند بروفيشنال بوزيشن بوزيشننج ذا اكويبمنت The ultrasound machine must be placed such that the operator, the target side, and the screen of the ultrasound machine are in a straight alignment. Often this is achieved by placing the ultrasound machine on the opposite side to the one that the operator assumes. Position of the assistant. An assistant may be needed both to operate the ultrasound machine, يعني تقول له زيد جين نزل جين زيد ديب نزل ديب and inject the local anesthetic solution يدفع لك the anesthetic solution. This may be achieved by standing opposite to the operator and near the ultrasound machine. So look at this image. This is very bad image because the operator stand in a way and look at the ultrasound machine in very bad way and uh, this will add more difficulty in the performing of the uh, block and also regarding the side of the block side of the patient he stand in opposite side to that side of the work so this is wrong while look uh, how such a block is comfortable to be performed. The operator is sitting and looking at the probe and at the uh, screen in very good way, in straight line, all of them, screen, operator, patient, and this is very uh, comfortable and a professional way of performing the block. Some of you in the uh, beginning may underestimate the ergonomic, which can add more difficulty in their learning. So please give more attention regarding this important preparations before performing of any blog. Or even sometime this may expose you to the criticism. قبل فترة أحد الطلبة نشر بلوك على الجروب مالتنا مال أنستيزيولوجيست وكان ناشر صورة تقريبا مثل هاي الصورة فأحدهم انتقد أنه أنت هاي الصورة مو صحيحة فيعرضكم أيضا إلى الانتقاد. When you cannot see desired structures شو نسوي؟ and so we part, part. We mentioned a uh, few minutes before part principle, and now we are talking about part, part. Afnan ala, Afnan ala. Abbas Rajit. I'm stuck. Abbas, قبل شوية حكينا على البار. What does it mean bar? I'm stuck. What does it mean bar? Start the B blue meaning away from the prop. Movement of the RBC away from from the prop while the LR uh, the right moving toward the probe uh, regarding the RBC movement. Good. So please uh, differentiate between part will be and part here. Part part means uh, pressure of the probe, good alignment of the needle with the probe, rotation of the probe tilt of the probe. With these maneuvers, we can get better picture for the needle and more good performance of the regional anesthesia. 
this is the pressure p alignment this is the alignment of the needle with the pro rotation means this movement this movement rotated movement and this is the tilting of the probe tilting of the probe with this movement we can get good visualization regarding the target structure or the needle like in this picture in this picture with this probe we can see this structure in good way with this probe we can see this structure in good way while to get this structure we have to tilt the probe here why because what is we see is the perpendicular perpendicular structures towards the probe like this perpendicular on this probe so this is the tilting movement to see the different structures not all the structures inside our body parallel to the skin this is the surface the skin and this structure in different angle with the skin so with manipulation of the probe we can see different structures regarding the visualization of needle why it is difficult because if you look at this probe we have only one millimeter depth for the production of the waves ultrasound waves and returning back of the echoes so the needle should be within this one millimeter width to be seen on the screen if the needle here there will be no visualization here there will be no visualization should be within this slit within this one millimeter width to be seen and the structures here reflect just one millimeter and this is the short axis transverse position of the probe and this is the longitudinal axis longitudinal vertical position of the probe and we can see in just one millimeter depth a width of the structures in the way of this one millimeter wave produced from the probe so it is just like a credit card thin width of the uh, structures here the needle parallel to the probe and with such position of the needle we expect good reflection of the waves towards the probe and good visualization of the needle and here the angle between the probe and the needle wide angle and we expect that the reflection of ultrasound echoes will be apart from the probe so there will be no receiving of waves no receiving analysis of waves no picture regarding this structure i mean which is the needle here here there is angle but uh, less than 45 degree with the probe and so we can see the needle but in less visualization than this needle but a, a practical speaking we cannot always get such maneuver of putting the needle in a way to be parallel to us to the probe because practically speaking we have to 
uh, obligated to be obligated for such angle, which is less than 45 degree. And with such angle, also we can see the needle in satisfied way. And to get, to decrease the angle between the needle and the probe, sometime we need to do a maneuver which is called rocking or heel maneuver, like this. Better to be seen here. Here the, the angle is large between the probe and needle. And to decrease the angle, we do rocking maneuver like this. So we decrease the angle between the probe and the needle to get better image. Look at the echoes here, reflected echoes here, apart from the probe, and look here towards the probe. Here there will be good image, here not. Also, we have two maneuvers for needlings. This is in a plane technique, and this is out of plane technique. In any plane technique, we insert the needle from one side of the probes, and in out of plane technique, we insert the needle from either here or here. In out of plane needling, it is more challenging and can be achieved using two methods. First method, sliding the probe means we insert the needle from here and with more advancing of the needle we move the probe like in this way from here to here with each advancement of needle move the probe as a follow of needle to get the tip of the needle on the screen and another way tilting the probe here the way of the needle, this is the needle, and we start by this maneuver, and with more insertion of needle, moving the probe like this, to get the same picture regarding the tip of the needle to be seen on the screen. This is out of a plane approach, and here is the dot of the needle. In any plane approach like this, we can see all the shaft of the needle because all the shaft can be seen through the slit of the probe. Advantages of each out of a plane technique shorter needle insertion path, less patient discomfort, easier to be performed. Any plane technique, the advantage is ability to track the needle tip, theoretically safer. Disadvantages out of a plane technique, unable to accurately track needle tip, difficulty finding the echogenic dots as the needle crosses the ultrasound beam. Disadvantages of any plane technique, more time consuming, more difficult to perform because more uh, difficult to see the shaft of the needle and to be kept within the same alignment of the probe. False security when the partial needle line up, give appearance of a needle tip. Can be more painful, secondary to longer insertion path. Before talking about another topic, I advise you all when starting working in regional anesthesia, 
to do at first in a plane technique because the art of a plane technique required more efficiency and with the time after performing of about 25 blocks there you will have a trick to do out of plane technique so please all of you start by any plane technique and after that there will be good time to use out of plane technique factors affecting needle visualization we have different several groups of factors first group ultrasound machine and the probe factor the power of the ultrasound machine image processor كل ما يكون افضل كل ما visualization احسن piezoelectric crystal density of the scan head it is its a crystal type and the transducer receiver properties all these technical aspects very important in the visualization of the needle time gain compensation control options on an ultrasound machine will permit adjust adjusting image brightness at variable depths there is what is called still we are talking about ultrasound there is what is called the 3d or 4d three dimension four direction dimension ultrasound technology this can give an image in multiple planes and at different angles the resulting 3d ultrasound image can then be displayed in a 3d representation or schema of scan structures and it is called static 3d imaging 3d ultrasound imaging in real time we call it dynamic 3d or 4d imaging so it is the 4d it is just like a 3d but in dynamic way so the time factor added in the uh, 4d imaging like this is the uh, image of the 3d ultrasound technique which is the actually uh, i haven't seen here in iraq we are working with 2d ultrasound dimension the frequency of ultrasound probe still we are talking about the factor that affect on the visualization of needle high frequency high frequency probe 8 to 12 is most often used for interventions on the most superficial structures a lower frequency ultrasound probe is often used to visualize deeper nerve and nerve plexus structures other group of factors regarding the needle itself needle gauge big needle more acoustic impedance and more sufficient area more reflection so with good visualization the skin insertion site selected and angle of a procedure needle passage حكينا عن هذا الموضوع قلنا كل ما تقل الانجل كل ما with good visualization the bevel orientation needle bevel orientation is important for needle tip vis visibility the bevel should be facing the transducer to enhance needle tip imaging this is the picture that compare between two gauges different gauges of needle with decrease gauge means increase the width the visualization better than with this one which is with high gauge less width and this is regarding the angle of needle here the angle small angle with good visualization of needle while here this is the needle not clear here because the angle is wide angle 
The needle probe alignment. A typical ultrasound beam width that is emitted from an ultrasound probe is only about one millimeter. Therefore, imaging a procedure needle can often be complicated as a result of misalignment of the ultrasound beam and the needle alignment. Alignment could be achieved by one of the following. Free hand technique, but there are uh, other techniques which is advanced, recent developed technique, mechanical and optical procedure needle guides. Several types of procedure needle guides have been described, such as the mechanical needle guide, which is ridged and adjustable mechanical needle guide devices. That is a device attached directly to the ultrasound probe and used for aligning the procedure needle. So its trajectory remain under the ultrasound beam. These guides used for needle stabilization and for needle path direction. يعني اكو فد جهاز صغير انسترومنت يرتبط بالبروب وبهذا الجهاز تدخل النيدل فلذلك النيدل ما راح تتحرك يمنى ويسرى راح تبقى with the same alignment. This is mechanical. Needle guides and there is optical needle guides, optical procedure needle guide. These devices was developed and described by Tsui by means of a laser system based device. This the laser in the alignment. هذا الجهاز اللي قلت لكم عليه instrument بسيطة ترتبط بالبروب فبعد النيدل ما تتحرك تبقى in the same path obligatory فما فالalignment راح يكون هنا fixed alignment هنا بالليزر ممكن انه انت تحافظ على alignment و another advanced procedure needle position system by using electromagnetic tracking system Here the electromagnetic. Another group for factors affect visualization is the needle echogenicity, which is needle echogenicity done by one of the following. Small angle indentations or notches have been have seen have been created in the needle shaft resulting in irregular surface of the needle that increase scatter of ultrasound waves. Or by special polymer coating treated with bubbling agents creates micro bubbles on the needle shaft surface during needle insertion and passage. This will increase acoustic impedance and improve needle echogenicity. This is a small angled indentations here. If you look at here, look at here, look at here. While here, this is the smooth needle that may not be seen clearly. And in the angle, I'm the spinal needle. Oh, B, B, U, C, U, D with indentations. These indentations will give more scattering towards the probe rather than this smooth surface. And this is the polymer coated needle that produce micro bubbles for better visualization of needle. And in this example, Manufactured with both mechanisms, indentations that are then coated, uh, polymer coated needles, both mechanisms. And another advanced way by manufacturing of piezoelectric vibrating needles, 
means are, uh, this is an example of recent developments where color flow Doppler is used to identify the tip of the needle. Two piezoelectric actuator use this technology to create one to eight kilohertz vibration, thus facilitating the identification of the tip of the needle. This is the tip of the needle, and by using of color Doppler, there will be a color here that by this color, we can identify the tip of the needle. This is advanced technique, not actually available in, the, in Iraq. For learning purpose, you have to learn hand-eye coordination. Hand-eye coordination. Practice with the blue phantom. Move either needle or transducer at the time, at a time. Don't move, move both of them at the same time. Don't inject if you can not see needle tip. For learning purpose, if I see tip, let's do injection. Because the injection might take in the uh, artery, in the vein, in another structure, apart from the target structure. With during our scanning, if I see the needle or I see the structure, not the needle, but the probe at the same time. Don't the needle, don't the probe. في الوقت الواحد حتى تشوفه زين هاي النقطتين مهمة عندي هاي النقطتين النقطة الأولى learn hand eye coordination أفنان علاء سمعيني نعم أستاذ أسمعك يلا زين سمعتيني قبل شوية مش العفو أستاذ انقطع الاتصال والله what does it mean hand eye coordination? Mr. يعني يعني لازم ويا direction مال حركة مال hand نقدر نعرف يعني ويا eye مثلاً إحنا وين نرد direction مثلاً بأي اتجاه نقدر نحرك إيدنا حسب ما نشوف the view اللي بالسكرين. نعم good. طبعاً أنتوا أكثركم يعني الجيل مالتكم أكثركم لاعبين الأتاري والبلاي ستيشن وهاي الألعاب الإلكترونية هاي الألعاب الإلكترونية لما تلزم الجوستيك بيدك أنت تحرك الجوستيك بدون ما تباوع على الجوستيك وين تباوع؟ looking at the television or at the screen هو هذا اللي يسموه hand eye coordination يعني انت تباوع على السكرين مال السونار وانت تحرك بال بالبروب وتحرك بالنيدل بدون ما تباوع عليها هذا بالبدايه راح يكون ديفيكال صعب عليكم بس ود مور تريننج اذا حصلتوا هاي التريك ذير ويل بي فيري جود ليفل اوف ليرنينج اند فيري جود بيرفورمانس اوف الترا ساوند جايدد ريجنال انستيزيا إنه أنت تحرك البروب وتحرك النيدل بدون ما تباوع على المريض بدون ما تباوع على البروب والنيدل your vision towards the screen this is the actually ultimate final trick to be gained and need time of a training so please focus on this point and after getting this skill there will be very good result of your maneuvers. النقطة الثانية practice with the blue phantom. The blue phantom هو فد simulator تستخدمه تسوي به the pricking باستمرار وتقوي إيدك. أغلبكم ما عندكم the blue phantom فأنا دائما أنصح كل الطلبة اللي يجون يمي أقولهم أنتوا بالخفارة أنتوا أصلاً موجودين بالمستشفى وتعبانين فبكل خفارة أجيب لي فت فخذ مع الدجاج فت قطعة لحم وغطيها بنايلون وأشتغل عليها 
الساعة ساعتين أدخل النيدل بكل الاتجاهات in plane out of plane superficial structure deep structure هذا ال frequent needling هو الوحيد اللي يعطيكم the skill of doing ultrasound guided regional anesthesia لو تقرا 100 كتاب وتباوع 100 موفي ما راح تحصل على سكيل بدون your personal direct clinical insertion of needle clinical training but this clinical training will be unsafe on the patient and will be very safe on the piece of meat so كل ما تسوي practically needling كل ما تقوى وكل ما تكون uh, more professional in performance of ultrasound guided regional anesthesia ممكن بالكتاب تقرا وتعرف شلون تسوي الالتراساوند وممكن تدخل كورس مثل ما احنا الكورسات اللي نسويها وتتعلم من عندها شلون هاو يو سكان تو سي فيمورال نير وممكن تشوفه على البيشنت الفيمورال نير بس تدخل بالنيدل والنيدل ما تشوفها وما تعرف وين تسوي الانجكشن ذيس از ذا بيج بروبلم مو صحيح؟ فلذلك هاي تو اوفركم ذيس بروبلم انه انت تتعلم تسوي نيدلنج اون ا بيس اوف ميت اور تشيكن ذيس از ماي ادفايس تو يو فاينل توبيك ان ذيس برزنتيشن is the imaging of artifact here here there is a reverberation which is appearance of need, uh, several needles several shadows of the single needle like in this uh, picture and also there is mirror artifact like in this picture and this is what is called bayonet artifact like this here this is the needle and this is the bio net artifact bio net artifact and this is a caustic enhancement that appear deeper to the viscous structures like the vessels here the femoral artery and deep to femoral artery we can see this hyper echoic area and for the uh, non-expert may regard this hyper echoic structure as a nerve or another structure actually it is just a caustic enhancement artifact and this is a caustic shadowing this is the rib and deep to the rib there is no no uh, picture there is an echoic area because the bone reflect all the uh, waves and no more waves pass through the bone or beyond the bone absent blood flow here no blood flow because here the probe not put in a way that can reflect the movement of cell apart from the probe or towards the probe. Here, the movement of cell towards the probe, and here, the movement of cell apart from the probe, while here, no movement of cell towards or apart so there will be no seeing of any color doppler vessels anisotrophy anisotrophy very important term have to be none for all of you this is the nerve appear in good way while here no nerve why no nerve here because in in the same probe position after movement, tilting movement of the probe, 
there will be disappearance of the nerve. Why? Because the structure to be displayed on the screen should the probe and waves perpendicular on this structure. With tilting movement of the probe, there will be disappearance of the structure. This is called the anisotrophy. Thank you very much. If there is any question or comment from your side, I will be uh, happy to hear and answer you. Shukran. The anisotrophy, for any structure to be seen, the ultrasound waves should be perpendicular on this structure. So here, the nerve appear on the screen because the ultrasound waves perpendicular on this nerve. With movement of the probe by tilting, by tilting, there will be disappearance of the nerve. Why disappear? because with the movement of a probe, the ultrasound wave will not be perpendicular on this nerve. And vice versa here, well, well. if the nerve not appear, with tilting of the probe, we can get the nerve on the screen. Well, Another, any, any other questions or comments? No, stop. Further. Stop. Uh, by rocking Oliver, you mean only tilting the probe to make it in a perpendicular alignment with the needle, or also uh, yani changing the needle position and making in the outline plane? Yeah, both or only tilting the probe? Rocking maneuver? You are talking about rocking maneuver? Yes. yes. Move, movement of the probe only. Only the probe. Only the probe. نعم استاذ يعني الارتفاكت تصير من اللي خلينا نقول الاستعمال الخاطئ للبروب لو لا لازم تصير لا الارتفاكت لازم تصير معظمها واكو يعني ويل اكسبلين ميكانيزم اوف ايتش ارتفاكت موجوده بالكتب بس انا ما كتبتها او ما يعني عرضتها لانه راح تصير المحاضره كلش مطوله. كل ارتفاكت الها ميكانيزم، ليش صارت هاي الارتفاكت؟ الها ميكانيزم. نعم. شكرا استاذ شكرا جزيلا. Any another question or comment? هذا شلون ابين انه هذه انستروبي اللي هو اصلا المعرض عنده انستروبال فاريشن او يعني ديفرنت with more scanning focusing on this area راح توصلين الى نتيجه كل ما يعني يصير عندك خبره اكثر بالموضوع كل ما تقدرين تشخصين افضل شكرا استاذ Uh, آخر شيء أحب أختم به أنه هسه إحنا عدد الموجودين قدامكم يطلع أو ما يطلع تقريبا 36 طالب موجودين بهاي المحاضرة بينما عدد الموجودين على الجروب تقريبا يمكن 69 واحد فمعناها اكو طلبة اصلا يعني مدى يحضرون هاي المحاضرات طبعا هاي المحاضرات انا دائما اقول اللي ما يحضرها سواء يحضرها او ما يحضرها انا قاعد هسه داطي محاضرة اذا انتو واحد منكم موجود او اثنين او عشرة لا تقدم ولا تأخر عندي بس اللي ما يحضر هو حقيقة يضر نفسه صح المحاضرات دا تتسجل وده يعني ترسل لكم 
بس ماكو مقارنة بين واحد يسمع محاضرة مسجلة وبين واحد هو مركز خلال فترة الساعتين أنا طبعا أعرف اللي موجودين واللي مدى يحضرون لأنه يطلعون عندي مثل مدى يشوفون ما أعرف قدامكم تثبتون طلعوهم كلهم أو لا أنا هسه قدامي طالعين وأتمنى الموفقية للجميع أشكر اللي دا يحضرون واللي مدى يحضر أقول إذا صارت عندك in the future فد deterioration معينة أو ما توقف ما توفقت لا تلومنا بعد لأنه إحنا بالنسبة لنا قدمنا النصيحة وسوينا اللي علينا والتقصير from your side العفو أستاذ إذا تسمح لي تفضل اكو تقريبا ثلاث طلاب دزوا لي مسجات انهم خفر عنايه مركز اليوم فراح ادز لك اسمائهم ان شاء الله اذا تسمح. اوكي. ثانك يو فيري ماتش اند جود باي. شكرا.